Libra. We will now be having a look to see what a relationship with this person could look like. Okay. Okay, there's a bit of coming and going in this relationship, okay, with the, the Six of Swords, the Hangman. There's something about delays or a bit of back and forth here, but I think it's to do with coming and going, Libra. So it may be a relationship where you separate and come back together, separate and come back together. I do associate the Aces with uh, significant new chapters, especially because it is the Ace of Pentacles, Pentacles being um, something that's consistent in our lives. So it's either there's consistency with the two of you breaking up, going separate ways, taking time off and um, starting fresh again is what really comes to mind here because there's delays and there's introversion. So I think what you can expect from this partner maybe is that they do want something. They're very open to the thought of being with you and having a relationship with you. This is Aries energy. Um, and Aries is a very excited, uh, excited, motivated energy. So, but it's also stubborn. And Aries can be quick to dismiss. So I think when things get a little bit tough or upside down or complicated, they have an avoidant attitude and instead of dealing with things head on Libra, they may leave, they may go distant, they may go cold. That may be their way of dealing with things because with the priestess of innocence and um, underneath here, maybe they don't know any better. They don't know how to communicate when they feel a certain way. And maybe, I mean, the child can show inexperience. Uh, it can indicate immaturity. So it doesn't really matter how old this person is. Maybe they just don't know how to express themselves. But I think you can teach them. I think they're moldable because the Six of Swords is about going on a journey. Um, so you're definitely, you know, strap yourself in for this relationship because I do feel it's coming with a certain level of intensity. The Ace of Pentacles does show that this person would want something serious, but their way of going about it is going to be very interesting. Um, it can also be, uh, Seven of Swords can also be read as they don't want to hurt you, so they may avoid certain things in the relationship in order not to hurt you. Uh, let's give an example. So, uh, say they want to go out, you don't really like them going out too much, and they want to go out with a colleague that maybe you know has a crush on them, they know has a crush on them, but it's purely just friends on friends terms for them they may avoid telling you the details so they may avoid saying oh i'm going out with this person with the person that you may be suspicious of libra just giving an example um in order not to hurt you now that can be read as a couple of ways but the seven of swords can be seen as deceitful behavior or behavior that is frowned upon or not the right way to go about things. But that doesn't mean you can't learn or this person can't learn because I think they could. But sometimes I feel like they may not be as ready. I think they're wanting to offer you a lot, but I don't know if they'll actually be ready for this relationship, Libra. Um, for some of you, this person will be ready, but there's something about timing for them. They may be starting something new, a new job, a new living situation, which can delay. The hangman means there might be delays in the relationship or delays in the connection for some reason. And again, especially if it's to do with geographical distance, family matters, legalities, divorces, settlements, that may be something of issue or something that may affect the relationship. But um, I do feel like there's travel involved, which is good. Travel, possibly living together, because the pentacles is, is having things in the physical realm. Creating a home together, having children, creating a family, or the blending and or merging of families is likely with this person. Um, the sun card can represent family and children, so I think it's important for this person um, that you blend or get on with their family or their family's approval is going to matter a lot. Um, their family's thoughts and feedback about you, Libra. So I think they're very much influenced by their children, by their parents, by their siblings, um, and even by their very, very close friends that they consider as family. Um, but I do feel like they are quite family orientated. They are willing to try things, which is good. 
So they're, they're open to trying new things. And if there's something that you encounter, like a hiccup or an obstacle in the relationship, um, they won't give up too easily. But I do feel like you may notice they go distant, especially if they have this temperament. You know, they had a lot of water in their chart. Water can be emotional. Um, but the sun, the sun is masculine energy. So maybe that's why they're so back and forth. Maybe they, in their natal chart, natal chart, sorry, they're a mix of masculine signs and feminine signs. And maybe you'll see that duality uh, evidenced in your connection. Maybe that's what's coming up here. I don't know if the Seven of Swords is looking back to the past or the hangman is here. I think this person will really try to impress you. I feel like children are here and children represent, you know, trying to impress, trying to entertain, trying to get attention. So they will want a lot of your attention or your time, Libra. Maybe they want you to text them very often or check in or see you every day of the week. Because I think they genuinely want attention from you and affection from you because they, they welcome it. Uh, it's something that they're wanting. They're wanting to have with you. But give them time. You might have to be patient. I mean, the hangman could even indicate that they are very patient with you. Um, and Libra, if this is you coming up as the swords, they may see you as someone who's avoiding or delaying things or moving on. So maybe they're fearful. Sometimes the hangman can be fear because it's consequence. He's put in this position because of something he's done and now he fears his punishment. So I don't know if this is insecurities or presumptuous thoughts, but they may fear that you leave them too quickly or you'll walk away. So, and the children are very, very dependent. So it's someone that I think is going to be very dependent on you emotionally mentally physically and i don't know what this is if this, the swords are you libra and you might be quick to walk away or quick to distance yourself but they'll definitely feel that or they'll definitely be concerned it might be something that they're concerned about uh, you of course walking away from the relationship so they may have they may have a bit of fears uh, in regards to that libra and you might come to see that ace of pentacles generosity which is good. Adventure. So they're a generous lover. Um, they're quite adventurous. They could have quite a high sex drive. Um, they could even be a little bit kinky, maybe. Um, you know, we see the ropes here. You know, the Seven of Swords. Um, but they may not always reveal everything. So they can keep secrets, maybe. A bit of a secret keeper or like to keep things under wraps. Maybe they just like to stay mysterious towards you. But they can be quite, could be quite protective over you as well because the boat symbolizes protection. But there's a lot of lot to do with children and families or, or grandchildren or could be very protective. So coming into the family, for example, if you have children from a previous connection, uh, they could be very protective and treat those children as their own. So there's there's a very strong um, maternal or paternal energy to this person. So they, they could be quite good with children um, or family. Again, the importance of family being um, presented in the cards. Mm, so I think that's what it could be. I do hope it's been helpful and it's given you a little bit of insight or a glimpse into this connection. Um, if you would like a personalized reading particular to your situation, please feel free to contact me for a private reading.